Welcome to the Misha Wilson Show, where we show you how to create massive success online so you can enjoy the lifestyle of your wildest dreams. Hey, if you want to discover the main skill sets I've used to do now over $40 million in total sales online, stick around and watch today's video through until the very end as I'm about to share with you the four main skill sets I've used to drive massive revenue for my companies. As always, if this is your first video, my name is Nish Wilson, and over the course of the last few years, I've now generated over $40 million in total sales online. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the highest impact skill sets that have allowed me to do just that. As always, if you get value, please let me know in the comments section below what your biggest takeaway is from this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button below this video. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so today's actually gonna be a Q&A or I'm going to answer a question that a student asked me, which very simply was, you know, Misha, what are the main skill sets that have allowed you to have the most success in your online business? And the truth of the matter is that over the course of the last few years, I've learned a bunch of different skill sets from email marketing to Facebook ads to YouTube ads to, um, you know, offer creation, webinar selling, BSL crafting, sales funnel creation, uh, everything in between, right? Neuro linguistic programming, language patterns for the more advanced people, uh, you know, social Facebook marketing, just a little bit for the less advanced people and everything in between. So it kind of took me some time to kind of look at, all right, what are the highest impact skill sets that I truly have, you know, kind of expert dialed in that have allowed me to see the biggest results with, again, the least amount of effort, because that's kind of how I look at this, right? There are different skill sets that allow me to see big results with a lot of effort. But again, I want to show you the things that will get you the most bang for your buck if you execute. And so the first thing that really changed my entire life when I went from $10,000 in debt, stuck, struggling, overwhelmed, uh, to breaking through and hitting six figures, the first skill set was learning how to dial in and optimize a sales funnel. All right, so learning how to craft the right sequence of pages, then also the right messaging on pages. So I would include copywriting in this to allow me to attract website visitors, convert website visitors into leads, convert those people into sales, build my email list, my single most valuable asset. And then from there, once again, you know, be able to market to those people. And so I'm gonna kind of categorize that as sales funnel creation, because without learning how to build a sales funnel, I would have never learned how to build my email list or been able to build my email list. I would have never been able to do some of the other things that I'm about to talk about here. And that's kind of the foundation of, you know, the core process that you need to have in place in order to go ahead and do the other things that you're then going to do next, all right? And the second thing is actually kind of in alignment with sales funnel creation in this context, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. But, you know, back then when I was first getting started, I didn't have my own product, I didn't have my own webinars, I didn't have my own offers, I didn't have my own affiliate system, I didn't have any of that. So all I did was I learned how to create the right affiliate sales funnel and I dialed in the right affiliate sales funnel, I dialed in the right you know, video messaging on my bridge page, I dialed in the right sales copy messaging on my capture page. I dialed all the systems and processes in and that's what allowed me to spend a dollar on advertising and make a dollar back. All right, and that brings me to skill set number two, which once I had the actual sales funnel, I needed to go ahead and be able to get people to that sales funnel to begin with, right? If you don't know how to spend a dollar on advertising effectively, no one's gonna see your sales funnel. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. They think, I'm just gonna post uh, my website or my funnel online, just people are gonna show up at it, right? And the truth is that never happens. And skill set number two that I learned to really kind of, you know, allow me to have that first initial push of success was figuring out how to drive traffic. And this has evolved over the course of the last few years, as it always will. Uh, way back when I learned solo ads, right? This was six, seven, eight years ago now. I learned solo ads, I dialed in solo ads, and that allowed me to have success as an affiliate. Now, from then, I've learned Facebook ads. We do a ton of Facebook ads today in the business. Uh, we spend over $10,000 a day, every day on Facebook ads. We have a ton of YouTube ads running at the exact same time. And so again, 
it will transition your skill sets and the things you're executing upon will kind of, you know, ultimately evolve as you transition to the next level. But the core thing that you must learn, the core second skill set that I learned was traffic generation. Because once you have that funnel, you need to be able to drive traffic to that funnel. Now, my recommendation for anybody watching this is I just said solo ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, uh, you know, we've done TikTok ads, we've done social media, right? We've done it all. What I would recommend is I'd recommend choosing one form of paid traffic, one form of paid traffic that you know works well for the market that you're in based on other people having success with that form of paid traffic in the market that you are in. And once you figure out one form of paid traffic that's working in the market that you're in for other people on a massive level, commit to learning that one form of paid traffic and then do not do anything else until you master that one form of paid traffic. Because naturally what's gonna happen is look, when I first started solo ads, I absolutely sucked. I lost thousands of dollars until I figured out how to do it correctly. I wasn't good at it, right? Same thing with Facebook ads. I placed Facebook ads, they absolutely bombed. I had to learn how to get the right targeting dialed in. I had to learn the right creatives. I had to figure out the right messaging. I had to get better at it. But what tends to happen is people will try Facebook ads. They'll go through the initial process of sucking at it, which is totally normal because the first time you do anything, you suck, right? And instead of just saying, all right, I did this wrong. I'm gonna figure out how to do it right. They say, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna go do YouTube ads, all right? Screw it, I'm gonna go do solo ads, right? And then they end up doing solo ads and that fails too. And they say, fuck, all right, I'm gonna go do YouTube ads. And they do YouTube ads and that doesn't work. And it becomes this like, shit, nothing works. And that's the feeling that they're left with. And the truth of the matter is that it all works. It's just not working for them because they're not spending enough time refining their skill sets with that one thing. So choose one thing, know that you're gonna suck at it, know that you're gonna not be good at the very beginning, execute on it anyway, stick with it long-term, and ultimately have success. So that was, once again, skill set number two. So to recap, skill set number one, sales funnel creation, and then skill set number two, traffic generation, those could be interchanged, right? You gotta kinda dial those two in. If you're selling an affiliate product, you can start with traffic generation, drive to their sales funnel, but really to get to the next level, you wanna take control of your funnel and build your list. Now, from there, you know, I kinda had to figure out, all right, I learned a bunch of stuff. We know how to do events, we know how to do webinars, we know how to do challenges, uh, managing a sales team. There are higher level things that I personally think are at my stage of the journey, more impactful for me at my stage, right? Like as an example, creating the right culture for my team so that my team members love uh, being a part of the team and never leave, that's something that is the highest, highest, highest impact. But I also wanna make this relevant for you. So the next thing that I did in order to get my income from six figures to literally multiple seven figures and do it very quickly was, and these kind of two things went you know, hand in hand kind of at the same time. But the first thing was offer creation, all right? Learning how to create my own offers that would sell my own products. Now I'm not talking about product creation here, I'm talking about offer creation. The distinction is the offer is the thing that sells the product. So the offer is, you know, let's say you have a product and the offer would be, all right, you're gonna get the product plus you're going to get um, you know, let's say it's an online course just to make it relevant for a lot of you. Let's say you have an online course on how to do Facebook ads. If you want to make a sexy offer with that product, uh, the offer would be you're going to get the course, the online course. Then you're also going to get weekly coaching calls with myself, group weekly coaching calls. You're never left out in the cold. Uh, then you're also going to get my 10 proven, you know, done for you Facebook ad uh, templates or Facebook ad scripts or Facebook ad targeting that will allow you to launch your first ad in the next seven days or less, even if you have zero prior experience. You are also going to get access to my Facebook mastermind where you're going to be able to come out to a live event and work with me in person and have myself answer questions for you over the shoulder 
getting personal help from a Facebook expert. On top of that, you're gonna get our online masterminds that you can ask me any question anytime and also have all of our supportive community members in there to help you succeed with, of course, your Facebook course. And then from there, uh, you know, you're gonna get all of these things, but I'm also going to take all of the risk out of the equation for you. And I'm gonna make this foolproof and offer you a 30 day money back guarantee and I'm also gonna guarantee that, look, if you don't actually get this result, or you know, if you wanna be more compliant, if you don't love this thing, I'm gonna refund all of your money and I'm gonna send you $500 just for wasting your time, right? So what we just did is we took this course, a Facebook course, cool, everyone freaking has a Facebook course, right? We took the course and we added more value to it in the form of the event, in the form of the coaching, in the form of the accountability with the mastermind, in the form of the support group, in the form of you know everything we just added. Plus, we removed the risk, right? We said, and you can try this for a full 30 days, no risk. Actually, the risk's on my shoulders because if you don't love this, I'll refund your money and I'll send you $1,000, $500, whatever the price is, right? Let's say the price is $1,000. I'll double your money back no questions asked if you don't love this. Now, as long as your course is good, the coaching calls are good, the community is good, the event's good, all the stuff's good, what'll happen is the sales generated will far outweigh the few people that say, all right, I wanna you know, refund plus my $1,000 back. Those people are total fucking losers if your thing is good, so don't worry about those people. Just once again, understand that you will make 10 times more sales and then you'll have one or two people or a handful of people a year ask for the thousand bucks, give those people back, keep all the profits. That's, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars if you do this correctly and if you create the right offer. All right. So that's just a, you know, quick, literal 30 second training on offer creation, but understand the difference between a product and an offer. Product is not the offer. Offer is the thing that you use to sell the product that ultimately makes it so that the prospect feels like they're an idiot, for lack of a better term, for not buying your thing, all right? If you do the offer correctly, when you present it, the prospect sits there and thinks, holy shit, if I don't do this thing, if I don't pull up my credit card and buy this thing, I am a complete moron. And clearly, I don't like money and I don't wanna have success with Facebook ads, all right? Where the product is just the actual deliverable that the person gets. So that's the third key or the third skill, right? Offer creation. Now the fourth skill, and this was you know super hard because we have a ton of different things that we do and I'm trying to keep this to four, right? The thing that I think will be most relevant for a lot of you as you scale your companies, as you get to a point where you have your own offers, as you get to a point where you have a list, you're driving traffic, et cetera, the thing that allowed me to kind of add rocket fuel on top of everything else we were doing was learning how to sell through webinars and specifically also automated webinars, all right? Because at that point in time, I learned how to create an offer, but I was only selling via a video sales letter. And a video sales letter is just something, you know, it's an online video that plays that sells your offer, presents your offer and sells, right? Um, when we added webinars, what naturally happened is we saw a huge increase in sales for a couple of reasons. Firstly, webinars, you can sell higher ticket goods, but also see increased conversion rates, right? Which would also, you know, you got to learn how to create high ticket offers, I should say as well. So we created high ticket offers. That's, you know, skill set number three. Then from there, we use webinars to sell them. So what's magical about webinars is, again, it's an environment, it's an event. People show up to it. People show up to it knowing usually that you're gonna sell something. So you're gonna get a really good group of people there likely to buy. And then from there, it's going to be very intimate, right? You're able to answer questions from people. You're going to you know, address people by name. You're gonna build rapport. You're gonna do all these things that can help increase sales that you can't do with a video sales letter, right? If you just put a video online, I can't be personal. I can't say, hey, John, how are you? Where are you coming in from? Awesome. Coming in from Washington. Good to see you. Um, I can't answer a question and then overcome the objection for everybody else on the actual presentation. So it allows you to sell higher ticket items. More importantly, though, it allows you to do it one to many. And when you automate it, one to many, meaning, you know, you can sell high ticket items and have a thousand people on a webinar. And if you have a 10% conversion rate of a thousand dollar product, selling to a thousand people, right? Well, it's gonna be a pretty good day, right? You're gonna make 
100 sales at $1,000. That's what webinars can do for you. We've done webinars where in a single webinar, uh, you know, 90 minute presentation, $100,000 in pure profit after going ahead and hosting that webinar. So that's the magic once again of webinars. But then what makes it even better is once you get the webinar dialed in, once you get the presentation dialed in, once you do it five, 10, 15 times and understand the objections, understand where people drop off, understand, you know, where people aren't necessarily, uh, you know, resonating with the messaging as well. What you can do is you can go back, edit the webinar, then take it and automate it. All right. We have automated webinars that sell our backend programs that I can tell you, you know, I recorded these things once and since recording them once, they've been playing for years and years and years. I go make small, you know, tweaks and edits, which I did this week actually, uh, each year to make them relevant for the new year but they sell our stuff year in, year out, year in, year out, year in, year out. I do the thing once and from there, it literally drives millions of dollars of sales each and every single year. All right, so learn the power of webinars, learn how to host webinars. There's a very simple framework to it once you dial it in and uh, it's one of the keys that can absolutely help you blow up your business. So with that said, I hope you got a ton of value out of today's video as always, again, there were a ton more skill sets that I thought about uh, from managing to, again, culture creation, to dialing the right strategy, to finding the right market, to, you know, a sales team, sales team organization, running a sales team, managing a sales team, managing a manager of a sales team. There's a thousand things. These are the four that I think are most relevant for you guys when you're first getting started. Then from there, after you're first getting started, when you're looking to get to that seven figure mark. If you got value out of today's video, please let me know in the comments section below what your biggest takeaway was. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button if you did. Till next time, over and out.